genuinely, I love my job and I feel so lucky that I'm able to say that because I know so many people, they're not excited to go to work in the mornings, whereas I am. I'll like volunteer for weekend work if it's there, do you know? I just absolutely love it and it's down to Portobello that I have it. My name is Rebecca Fox and I'm currently an Administrative Buying Assistant with Pamela Scott. I studied in Portobello for two years doing the Fashion Buying and Merchandising course, which was amazing. I also did the part-time um, facial makeup course also in my first year that I was there. And from Portobello, I was passed on the application for Pamela Scott and I started working with them in 2020. So from my very first day in Portobello, it was an absolutely incredible experience. We had our orientation and even though I was there for the full-time fashion buying and merchandising course, I was offered I could also do the facial beauty. So I decided I would take that straight away and that was also a lot of fun. So the fashion buying was really interesting. All of our tutors, they've worked in the industry for so long and they've so much hands-on experience that they're really able to tell you so much about that industry and what it's actually going to be like. There's always so much talk about what happens after. It's not just, here's some content, just learn this off and then we'll have an exam at the end of the year. Like, you learn so much that you can genuinely put into practice. I think one of the best things about Portobello is even though you're doing a full-time course, they've really taken into consideration that most students also need to work while they're studying. So they allowed me to do an instalment plan so I didn't have to pay everything immediately. I could work it out over the year and pay as much as I could or as much as I wanted to at the different times. But also with the schedule, even as I said, even though it is full-time, they break it up so generally you're only doing two and a half days. The classes are quite intense and you learn so, so much in that time. The classes could be two or three hours long. But the fact that it's two and a half days means I still have other days that I can work and I can study and I can still have a life also. So from the get-go with my classes, they're not massive classes. In my first year, I think there was 13 students. And the advantage with that is every single tutor knows your name and they also have the time to dedicate time specifically just for you. Like if you have a lot of questions or something or you're struggling to grasp a concept, because the class size isn't massive, they have that time and that time to give you the attention that you need. And they do know your name. It's not like you're sitting in a lecture hall with 500 students and it's not personable. You're emailing a tutor to be like, I don't understand this and they're getting back to you within five working days. The classes are that small that even there was times where I would finish class and I would kind of hang back and then I would go to my tutor and be like, oh, hey, can I just double check, you know, I'm doing this for my assignment, I'm not really sure if I'm doing it correctly or not. And they are straight away, they have that time there for you. So one of the major advantages with studying in Portobello is when you're finished college, you're not just dropped. Like they check in with you, they organize things for you also, like in the first year, a lot of the girls all got internships with pennies, bestsellers, and I know some of the girls are still working there like to this day, which is you know, two years later for them. And then I done the second year, and from that, COVID did happen, so there was no internships. But at the same time, Anne-Marie was still sending me on different applications that I could apply for, and Pamela Scott was one of them that came up. And I did interview for an internship with Pamela Scott after my first year, it ended up going to another girl in my year and she worked there for a really long time as well. But I knew then when I got passed on this application that I wanted to work for this company. So I felt so prepared going into my interview. I was able to talk about my experience in Portobello and everything I'd learned from there. And even though I didn't have the internship to back it up, because of everything that I'd learned in Portobello, I still managed to get that job. And I feel like that is a harder thing to do. A lot of people do need to do internships before, but I feel like from doing the second year particularly, I was so ready and capable of doing it. If you're looking for a career in fashion, I definitely think go to Portobello. I cannot recommend it enough. I didn't come from a retail background. I worked in hospitality from 17 and it was only, I went back to college as a mature student. It was only later in life that I all of a sudden realised this was what I really wanted to do and I looked up so many different courses and Portobello really stood out to me. It was the only one that I applied for and I'm so glad that I did. I got so much experience in my two years there, even not even within the college, but the tutors would get you work experience outside. I worked on so many fashion shoots and met so many people within the industry 
from Portobello that it meant when I left there after two years, I was so ready to be in the industry and be successful in what I'm doing afterwards. So I definitely think if you are thinking of a career in fashion, even if it's not what you're in right now, just go to Portobello, apply, go to their open days. It's amazing.